I uploaded a different video for the official Creality Group. Um, we can talk about some other things here. When this pad is on, your little screen here is on. Your printer could be off, but your screen is actually on. I kind of made a mistake thinking my printer was on, but it actually wasn't. So then I turned on the uh, switch in the back and it connected. So that's one thing I learned today. This was the first print that came off this printer and, you know, the first print using the clipper pad. I have no experience with this machine whatsoever. And you can see there was some pretty extreme uh, motion jerking layer changes here. Pretty severe. Can't really call this a great menchie, but you know, it is, it's a work in progress. So, after I seen this result, I went and I hooked up my uh, sensor and we did the calibration on, I forget what they call it, res resonance. It might be something else. You have to dig around in this pad, look for that, look for that. So, this Benchy is printing. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit better than this one. <coughs> I don't know if I got the cold here or what, but... Um, when I started printing, this Benchy came over, started uh, printing the little extrusion on the side... And my printer was actually making noise on the extruder. The nozzle was dragging into the glass. Went out there, started printing, you know, pushing the nozzle into the glass. So I, I just quickly adjusted uh, with the wheels to get this thing printing. But I think you might have to make adjustments in your Z every time you print. Uh, I don't know, maybe just leave your machine on at that point. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like adjusting my Z every time I uh, go to print something. But. So, we got three hours to wait for this. I'm running at a regular speed. I just want to see uh, what we get with the regular results. And then we'll, you know, we'll start pushing some speed differences. Let's see what we come up with that. But. Just giving you my opinion, my results. Take care. Happy printing. All in all, I do think this is uh, quite a nice little interface. You know, I do have a Raspberry Pi, but I never, I never set it all up. And, you know, I really wasn't interested in, in getting involved with that. Um, Definitely some jerky motions that I'm not used to seeing on this machine. <laughs> so I think you know this this pad is a good option for people who want to get into the clipper without you know going through the whole setup. If we could get the camera on there and do the stop motion, that would be uh, that would be an interesting thing also. I know one company is putting out. A clipper printer now, with clipper built right into the machine, which should be interesting. Things are progressing forward, you know. Not that I had uh, bad results. Um, pretty much everything I print comes out very good, you know. My Alita up there. You know, you look at any of my... Uh, Printing get good results. All different machines, all different printing. The only thing really different is the uh, filaments that I use. So these are all models by Sid. This is not primer either. This is just straight filament. <coughs> Alrighty, take care, happy printing. Uh...
I'll see how this comes out. If this looks nice, nice, then I'll probably try to print something more serious. If it still looks like uh, needs some tuning, I'll walk you guys through that and see where we can get with it. Take care, man.